What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to speed up your reaction time through your mouse settings in your favorite games. There was a great uh, video by Optimum, Te Optimum Tech. Let me make sure I get that right. Optimum Tech. It's a great channel. Um, and they did a few uh, very uh, detailed tests on the types of performance lag and input lag um, that your mouse has when using lower DPI sensors. Um, so when you're using a lower DPI, it will actually um, take longer to send the information of your movements to the game. And when you use a higher DPI, it actually performs faster. Um, so basically, if we use the highest DPI that our mouse supports, um, it will send the movements to the server and to your game and to whatever you're controlling faster. Now, you might say this is obvious but bad because I don't want my mouse to be moving um, across the screen super super fast um, but we can actually adjust the speed of our mouse separate to our DPI in Windows and game settings so that it reacts just as it would before but with the higher DPI with the higher um, send speeds so that it lowers the latency between our movements and our gameplay it's going to make things uh, a lot better for competitive gamers if you're not already doing this uh, so before we get started i want to give a huge shout out to todd m thank you so much for being a channel supporter for so long really means a lot to me if you want to support this channel click on that join button or that thanks button below let's go and get started so um i have a uh razor death adder elite uh, so I have a Razer Death Adder Elite, and it supports up to sixteen or let's see, yeah, sixteen thousand DPI. Let me just double check that because I'm still kind of in awe of how good mice have gotten. Yeah, so I can go from uh, one hundred to sixteen thousand DPI. Now, normally I would play between five and six thousand DPI. That's why my normal stages here were between five and six, and I would adjust them slightly using the buttons on the mouse to um, help during gameplay or if I needed to make adjustments on the fly. However, after watching this video and finding out that you can lower your input lag by like sometimes 10, 20 milliseconds by using higher DPI. Um, I decided to move it straight up to 16,000. And you'll notice, well, your mouse isn't moving super fast and crazy. That's because we can actually adjust the settings in Windows itself. So if we um, click here and go to mouse settings, we can adjust our mouse pointer speed. So before it's normally at 10 and my mouse is, I'm barely even moving it and it is going across the screen. But if I move it to something more reasonable, like five or six even, it works really well and it smooths all of your movement even better and it feels like it's like reacting faster because you're actually getting the full um, 16,000 DPI and the full resolution of your mouse's capabilities. So it's, it's updating faster. Um, so yeah, this is a great way to reduce the input lag on your, um, games. And if you haven't watched this video yet, I'm going to link it in the description below. It's optimum tech and it is called why gamers are switching to high DPI. And I definitely recommend you watch it and, um, use this to, um, adjust those settings. If you play a certain game and you want to adjust the settings in game, uh, modern warfare, apex legends, all of those games, um, have separate mouse speed settings. So you just keep your DPI on high and you lower the sensitivity on those settings in game and it's going to work just the same for you and hopefully um, get you some more kills with that better reaction time. Uh, so yeah, let me know if this video helped you out and thank you so much for watching. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers and you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.